Alright, what's up everyone? Alright, so we uh, just walked into Epcot and guess what? It is Memorial Day and it's going to be busy. So we're not going to be doing any rides today because <laughs> we couldn't get any fast passes. Uh, but we got some fun stuff planned and you're going to enjoy this. You better enjoy this. I'm going to force you to enjoy this. And there's Jeff. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Alright guys, so we made it underneath Spaceship Earth. So Memorial Day week weekend, well it's Memorial Day so it is a, a Monday and everyone has to go back to work tomorrow. But 30 minutes for Spaceship Earth at 206, it's not really that bad. Oh, look how pretty! It is a very beautiful day here, but it is also extremely hot. But I will survive because we are on a mission today. We are on a mission to find Dole Whip with coconut rum. So this is the menu. And this is what I got right here. The pineapple soft serve with the coconut rum. The price is a little much. Don't particularly care to pay that. But we found it. It shall be delicious. It shall. What's up? We're in Canada. It's ridiculously hot today. So we're gonna come inside and cool off and find some Canadian swag. And of course, what's the first thing they have in here? Maple syrup. All right, we found it. We found the spot. We found the air vent. All right, so because it is way too hot outside, we have decided to go and see Old oh, Canada. Canada is over. So sad. We'll miss you air conditioning as we go back outside to the heat. The air conditioning was the best part of the show. And Martin Short. Come on, you gotta love him. But come on. Back to the heat. up there. Look at this, we're vlogging each other's cameras. <laughs> Once again. There's one place I absolutely have to go into with Dawn and we need to uh, get our tea on right there. Yes, we're getting our caffeine fix. Whoa! So you get the single spot Twinings tea box and tea 20 bags for $18. Oh, that's so cute. And that was a cute little tea box. Okay. This one looks awfully familiar. Oh, and I guess ours is red, isn't it? <laughs> I know, one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life was when I was in Boulder, Colorado. I took a tour of a tea company, and whenever you walk, you take a step, and it's the most amazing smell you've ever smelt in your life. And when you take another step, it's a brand new smell. That's the most amazing smell you've ever smelled in your life. 
and it just continues going on. Uh, if you ever get a chance to do any of those tea tours where they make all the teas, uh, I would highly suggest you do it. All right, they just brought out tea samples and the whole store just went ballistic. Let's get one. Thank you. You're very welcome. So this is iced green mint tea. Let's see how it tastes. Ooh, very refreshing. Although I did drink this completely wrong, so. I could pull that off. I just walked in the uh, section with a perfume and I'm quickly leaving. That smell is beyond intense. But we're outside. And there is Mary Poppins. Oh, Mary Poppins. You know what would have been awesome? Is if in Despicable Me, Gru stole the Eiffel Tower from Epcot and not the tiny one from Las Vegas. Universal would have so much fun with that. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Welcome to France, land of body odor and snails. Look at that, it's so pretty! Alright. It's on 995 worth. Take a taste. Alright, describe what it tastes like. Alcohol. You see that guy up there? It's nothing special, I can do that. I can. I can. Alright, so I just took a sip of Noe's drink called La Vie M. Rose. It is pretty amazing. Holy cow. Light and refreshing. Uh, might be coming back for that. Right now we're on a search for food though, because it's uh, it's about four o'clock. I don't think any of us have really eaten yet. Uh, however, we've hit the alcohol, so we definitely need some food. All right. So what you guys missed was Don and I stuffing our face. <laughs> with... Not really. <laughs> we uh, were getting smaller options and splitting it uh, so we could eat more. <laughs> and so we just had hummus and tabbouleh. Which Chef had never had before and loved. It was, super, super it was fresh good. And delicious. Yes, it was like pico de gallo with a lot of mint. Yep. It's good. Yep. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, now we're going to Japan. The country I really, really, really want to visit. So, Don is all about those little mini gardens you can maybe see behind me. But me, I'm about hot, strong women beating a drum. Yeah, look at that. So I just learned something really interesting. The uh, song that they are currently drumming right now is uh, basically translated to, oh my god, it's hot outside. Alright, so. It's hot. It's hot? It's gross. <laughs> We're going into... Lord. We're going into one of the best places in all of Disney. There is so much Pokemon in here. My heart is beating out of its chest. I'm so excited. <laughs> and the store is not even Disney. <laughs> it's not. There's really some Hello it. Kitty. No Pokemon. And most likely Naruto. All right, so this one is for my brother, Justin. I so want to see you wearing this hat. So there is an entire table here of Funko Pops. It is something that I have never collected before, but I don't think I'd be opposed to it. But I would also probably be the person who actually removes it from the box and throws the box away. But I've been watching a lot of unboxing videos and everyone gets upset when the little there's a little dent in the box. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be that person. Holy cow. Universal, when Nintendo Land opens, please have that backpack for guys. I don't think I would wear it, 
but I know lots of guys that would. Uh, uh. I'm taking Jeff to go get some ramune. Ramune is a Japanese soda. They also have mochi ice cream, but ramune soda is delicious. So what it is, it's to activate the carbonation, you have to push down on a marble, and then it activates the carbonation when the marble comes through. They have a few different flavors. My favorite is strawberry, and it's delicious. If they have strawberry... What flavor is this? Uh, it's pink flavor. Peach? Yes. And then the green one? Uh, melon. Okay. Melon and then the uh, regular one? Uh, it's a uh, taste like fry, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get the peach one. Peach? Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, which peach one? Is cool. Whichever one you want to give me that's cold. I just want to show them how to do ramune because I it's love a, doing ramune. Okay, cool. Like yeah, sure. Do you want to try another one? Yeah, I'm gonna try a melon. Melon? Okay, we can just, we can try a both. Thank you. Sweet. Bye. So I'm doing ramune in Japan. Um, there's a little thing that you put to like activate the marble so it um, carbonates. This is the peach one, she said? Yeah, peach. 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 I'm not a fan of peach, but I just bought it because I like ramen. So you push down on it, and it pops, and it goes everywhere. <laughs> and then you drink the ramen. <laughs> it's actually really good. So. so you unwrap it, take off the plastic, Okay. and then around so around the little like thing put down, there is a like a wrap around. Take that off. Take this off. Yes, that's an extra. You don't need that. Okay. Throw it away. Yeah, now, throw this away. No, keep that. <laughs> All right. Keep that. And then, and then you we have to do a hard serve. And okay. then push down. And you popped your own cherry. Oh yay! You did it. So okay. this is uh, melon. That is the melon, melon flavor. I got the peach flavor. And it is very good. Is it refreshing? Very, very, very refreshing. Yay! Ramune! So let's see who's playing today. The Spinners. So we're over here in the American Pavilion. And I'm going to uh, get something over at the Smokehouse. Because that beef brisket burnt ends hash sounds really good. And it smells amazing over here. It really does. So this is the uh, burnt ends hash. It looks pretty amazing. And look at this little setup. This is part of So this is the burnt ends hash that he got. Mm -hmm. All right, but let's try it. Tell you the smoker. All right, reaction. The potato. I'm gonna win. Oh, it all good. That's really good. All right, so Don bought this. What is it? Shrimp chips. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try this. Why not? Every flower with luxury fresh shrimps, fresh shrimps, rich calcium and mouthfeel to satisfy real shrimp flavor. She can do that because she lives yes. in Japan for a No, that's her second one. Oh, yep. good. Alright. I like the Harry Potter hat. <laughs> it's actually good. I know. It's actually good. really good. Like really good, huh? Who would have thunk? Oh, I got one. I'm good. But now, as I eat my shrimp chip, we are headed to the American Adventure and go uh, see some American heritage and history and all that good stuff. America. All right, I have officially found the best air conditioning unit in all of Epcot. It is ice cold <laughs> in here and you can probably see the sweat pouring from my face. But we're gonna hang out here in the uh, rotunda because this place is just gorgeous. Now we'll say the American Adventure Show. I have not seen it in a long time but it is such a great show. Something that whenever you come here to Disney, you should do. And especially, it's nice to remember as an American, uh, our history and where we came from. But take a look at this place.
And we are headed into the American Adventure. What adventures await for us? It's so pretty. I've lived in Florida for 22. <laughs> so we just finished the American Adventure and we are heading back out into the heat. So, so long air conditioning. You're the best invention ever. But back into the heat where the spinners are performing. All right, so we are heading to Italy and we are going to get some pizza that I keep hearing about. Pizza is never bad. I'll take pizza any day of the week. But everyone keeps raving about this pizza, so we're gonna go check it out. And here is some more prettiness. So it's really hot today. Like really hot. And I forgot to get my hat. So let's do the check on how is the bald spot doing. Hopefully it's not all red. I put on a lot of the sunblock today. Pizza! Uh, all right, we might not oh, be doing pizza. pizza. That's a good thing about being an Epcot. There's other food. All right, the limoncello. I just took a sip. This is a sip. This, and like, it burnt it gives all the way down. And I but forgot it, that I like the limoncello margarita. Not the shot. But it's good. So no, he's just gonna bite the bullet. I don't want to, but I'm gonna have to. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a ricotta, a, rec a recola thing. Ricola. Good girl. All right, we're in the caramel store. It smells amazing. I want to buy everything in here. We're making all the caramel popcorn. You know, one time in my life, I thought I was meant to dip things in chocolate for a living. Yeah. Weather's starting to cool down. We're now in China. And we are looking for dumplings. Hey! We are here at the Lotus Blossom Cafe. There is no air conditioning and it is extremely hot. As you can probably see from the sweat pouring down my head. So here is the dilemma. It's really hot in here. But is it hotter in here or outside? In here. I agree with you. I think it's hotter in here. Yeah. It's time for another uh, Bald spot check. How are we doing? Am I going to be feeling it in the morning? I hope not. So that take path, I am guessing, is for people wanting to get in line for the tequila bar. Alright, Don is very happy right now. Hi Don, why are you happy right now? He just asked for my ID. <laughs> this is my favorite time of day here at Epcot. So it only makes sense that we're about to go. But we're going to go someplace else and have some more fun.